to be extra, extra freaking greedy. So three hands, here's our two, love it. That's all we're doing. Digging for twos. What's up, Beijing? Oh wow, we got it. Oh. Two is too strong. Just too high card. <laughs> I, I wanted to play two more hands there. Palatro, yellow deck, let's go. Uh, definitely not. I'm coming. Joker. Ho, 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 ho. That's the best kind. Alright, let's get it going here. I am seeing the beginning of a, flu a high flush, so that's always good. Whoa, 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 whoa. We just got three aces and two nines. Is this enough? I think this is. Because it's going to be 33... And then 18 to, oh yeah, that's only half. Nice full hats. Want to try to take that first hand. The first blind all in one hand so you get the extra money. Now we have a lot of money. Alright, so this is interesting. Ceremonial Dagger is going to be destroying jokers and adding double its sell value to malt. Was this card buffed? Um... It's kind of interesting. This would be good if we were able to print jokers somehow. Just hand size. Oh, we got a lot of good stuff here. <laughs> Going for this right now without riffraff or something that would be printing um, is kind of interesting, but... <laughs> probably not sm Probably the smart move would just be to skip this, but, <laughs> but what fun would that be? Raised Fist isn't a bad early game card either. I am... I think I'm gonna play this now. Do I need the Uncon Diamond cards or do you? I mean, I could grab these and then skip. Alright. But then maybe I should be grabbing Paintbrush. Maybe I'll grab both. Just Paintbrush? This doesn't actually do anything yet. Should I buy this just to feed it to the dagger? So this will be four. This will be way more. Alright, we're done buying everything. We'll take hands as well. I am not going to do this yet because this is going to be better. And we're going to skip this one. But we do have some extra malt, so we should be okay here. Uh, a flush would be nice to go for, and it looks like we have a flush in the making with spades. Might as well get rid of this, in case we top deck two aces. Right, and the one where the entire uh, class, the entire suit is debuffed, it's really good to go for flushes. Um, so this will actually add 12 malt, which is really, really nice. On a very high flush. And we got that in one hand. <laughs> I'm going ceremonial dagger on the off chance that we actually get something to feed those jokers. Oh, I love card sharp. I love this. Uh, this is, for me, one of the absolute best cards, best jokers in the game, because you just now, instead of going into flushes, uh, we'll just go into like two pair or something easy to get, and then you even high card. And card sharp, card sharp definitely works for that. This is earn one dollar for each nine in your full deck at the end of the round. So this will be gaining us some money. Theoretically, this would give us four dollars per round. But anyway, you have to grab this. We're definitely not feeding that to the dagger. Uh, let's start building a like a two next base edition Joker becomes Polycrow. Oh man! All right. So I'm going to heart cards are debuffed. Let's select this. <laughs> Still don't know what I'm doing with the ceremonial dagger. Uh, so we want to go for hands that have multiple possibilities. We could go for three of a kind here. Um, and actually get this like times eight. This isn't bad. Because now the eight will be, it'll be 16 on this three of a kind. Alright, let's try this. Yeah, 
And who knows? Well, we, maybe we can get another three of a kind to activate, but yeah. Card sharp. Oh, it's very close to being enough. We have this flush, which will definitely be enough. I probably should start building, like, two pair, though. So we can actually use this as an opportunity. Uh, since we only need a little bit to just grab a, a two pair from somewhere. Uh, we used our kings already. So here's our... I want it to multiply a little bit higher here. Ah, six is good. So aces and tens. And with the mults, it's obviously going to go over. Yeah, I don't really like the music. I'm going to turn this off. People ask me to put the music on, but it's really just like, it's too much white noise for me. It's just distracting me, so I'm gonna, I guess I got used to playing this game in silence. I think that is how I am gonna continue it. Sorry, everyone who requested music. I did try, though. Okay, here's the Polychrome. So it's one mult per hand played and minus per discard. This is actually a very good card when you're going for a very easy, repeated hands. Um, and this would be, even, we could even just go for, instead of two pair, we can go for a single pair or even single card right now. This is very synergetic. Uh, so we're definitely, oh my gosh, I didn't even look at the money. We're definitely buying that. This is also obviously multi-chrome, so this is ridiculous. Um, maybe we're going for like a, a one-of-a-kind build here. We don't want to ever discard ever, 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 right? Per hand played, and you want to play a lot of hands. I guess we're going for a high card build. This is ridiculous, but I think it's what we're doing here. Oh, man, I didn't realize that Egg is a very good defeat to this. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone for Egg. But anyway, this is this is fine. So are we doing high card? That's crazy. It doesn't work well with you, but... All right, let's see how this works. Hearts are debuffed. Like, is high card going to be enough here? I have no idea if it's going to be enough. It's going to add, see, the problem is right now is that it's going to be multiplying the mult. <laughs> we, we can't get rid of these. We sort of do need the, well, three times mult and then plus mult. I don't actually know how this goes. If we discard right now, it's going to really hurt this hand. <sighs> We're going to need something other than raised fists, and we're also going to need to get some uh, Plutos or whatever it is that buffs high card here. Just I don't want to just die here, though. Like I feel like if I play this, it's going to be 16 times 5. Here, let's, I'll get my calculator out. It's going to be 16 times 5, uh, and then we're going to multiply that times 1.5 which is only 120 on this first hand. I don't want to, and then the next time it'll be times three. Like, if we can discard one time and actually get rid of some of this garbage, then I think I'm actually going to do one discard here. And hopefully not pick up smaller cards. Here's this three now. Uh, we could go for two pairs. I really don't like the three, though. Because of the... I know this is so weird. I guess this doesn't actually hurt yet because it can't go into negatives. Can you please not be giving me four? There. Okay, so now we're either going to be going for high card or two pair. Now we're getting 18 per shot. I think now it's going to be enough because this is going to be 15. Uh... So just for starters, it's going to be times 19. And then you multiply that times 1.5. It's only 427. Uh, but then you're multiplying that times 3 each time. We're out of discards. I guess you can always be... Oh, I didn't realize you can be going for high card. Uh, I didn't realize that. We should be playing our hand instead of using discards. Okay, this does make sense. This actually does make sense, because I'm going to play a high card and then just waste all the lower cards. So this will actually work now. All right, let's do it. 
So we're gonna play King. High card. And now we're gonna play Queen plus plus three. In fact. Let's just play this as well. So our 10 is always going to be the, the highest card. We want it to be multiplying times 10. Oh, this is such an easy way of manipulating it right now. I didn't even realize that. So we'll get rid of this. So that's going to be adding. This goes 18. This is going to be growing. There's times 3. And we're already up. Okay, I realized I just figured out how to do this. We're going to be always playing as part of our high card hand. We're going to be playing all of our low cards. And then Raised Fist is actually going to be amazing. Here's three of a kind. We're looking to buff high card. Exactly four cards. This could be good in the short term. I'm going to pass because there's going to be other things we're going to need soon. Next one becomes negative. I think I'll take it. We can get a negative holographic. <laughs> Should I go for it? We could probably get 5,600, right? I mean, I guess I shouldn't be, well, plus 10, well, all right. Let's actually select because we really do have to build up. Uh, so we're going to be playing these four cards and then just an ace as our high card here. And this will definitely give us enough. In fact, I really should be prioritizing getting less money and actually building this up more. This is going to be three times as much. I hope we're building this strong enough here. Two more should be fine. We'll definitely get another 2100, plus we're getting three times as much. So it's always getting better. And we'll do another ace, and that'll do it. Oh, this is actually, the Raised Fist is actually working way better with this, because you can just play any of your lower cards, other than your lowest number card as just part of the hand, and it's really carrying us. This is building, too. I mean, this is going to be going way the heck up. Plate Aces, give 20 chips. So this is this is negative, right? So we have to buy this. Um, also, Aces is our good high card, so this this is fine. This does work with our build. Uh, 20 chips and mul put that before the multipliers, obviously. And yep, we're good. Double the rank of your lowest card, lowest card held in hands. The mul lowest aces aren't going to be low here, right? I wasn't paying attention, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be low. All right, next. All face cards are drawn down. That's okay. It doesn't actually affect us at all. Uh, we're just going to play... Ooh, unfortunately, we ended up with two twos. Um, it's probably better to... We do want to get this multiplier going, so I think we're just going to get the first one. Multiply by two. We'll draw a higher number than seven, so I'll just play all this. This, will be our first one. this one doesn't get the three times multiplier, so it's okay that we're, we're we're just burning this high card for. Unfortunately, got another two. This is really bad. I really don't want to be getting these twos here. I hope we're not gonna completely screw up here, but we have to get the three times multiplier, right? So rough. Okay, so there's an ace. This should be fine times eight. And it also adds a whole bunch. That's awesome. Come on, get up there. Get up there. Yes. Oh, all right. This is going great. I've actually never done a one of a kind, a high card r run before successfully. And this is working out amazing. Oh. Here's egg. So maybe I'm I'm gonna start I'm I'm gonna buy this egg and now feed it to the ceremonial dagger. Uh, so I'm gonna let this cook for a little while. What is this? One hand per round. Ooh, love that too. Where are we right now? We are. Oh, this is a new voucher. Okay, so I'll grab this next time. So I'm grabbing the egg now. Uh, this is just gonna go here. 
and we'll let it cook for a little bit. And I think we're fine. So we're basically going to play, play, play. I don't care. All face cards are debuffed. Ah, uh, that means I'm going to have to be playing aces and tens, essentially. Wow, that's actually a little tough because it, it takes away some chips. I think we're going to be okay. Thank you, Ellie Broy, for 68 months. Wow, 68 months. Coming up on six That is years. what I'm talking about. So it's going to be ace, and we have the 10 as our card. I love this. Love this, love this, love this. We're going to just play some hands here. We only need to get to 6,000, so we'll probably be there very soon. I wonder if it's better just to even play <laughs> just some more hands this time. Because it's going to be very easy to get the 6,000. I think. <laughs> uh, you want to get rid of... One of the tens. No, you don't. So much money. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I gotta do that. So it, that hands that hand scored us around six thousand. I have to be a little more conservative. This Joker gains eight chips when each played two is scored. Uh, eight chips. Play two is scored. No, it's not really going to work. We could be just playing a bunch of twos. I mean, we're going to be playing twos. It's a rare. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be giving in to the rare. The sell of this is five already. I'd have to ditch something, and I, I really could end up playing a lot of twos, because if we're going to be burning hands, we're basically going to be playing our twos. I can play a bunch of them when each play two is scored. The thing is, this can end up getting, I mean, let's say getting up to 100 chips. It would take basically, it would take 10, 12, 12 twos just to get to 100. But this can really, really scale. I mean, this can really, really scale. So I, I am thinking of actually getting this. I would have to ditch, um, I would have to ditch, like, raised fist right now. I can't be getting rid of you. Definitely not. Uh, we could get rid of the whole ceremonial dagger thing. <laughs> this is going to have 10 molt and then extra 3 per turn. So this is going to get to 100 uh, with this egg. I could just skip this too. I could just get, like, grabber. Which, is this my last chance to get grabber? No, it's not. I really wanted to get this going. I could get rid of double rank Lois. See, this is the only thing really giving us molt right now. It, it, we're not going to really have any molt to multiply if we don't have the raised fist. This is just going to add chips. Man. I need to play two. I think we can really build this. It's just tough here. Okay, I'm going to skip this because I really want to. I'm, I'm going to grab this next round. I really do want to do the ceremonial dagger. And see how that actually ceremonial dagger is never going to be able to be on the left. I just realized that unless you feed this every single time, we're never going to be able to multiply things because this always needs to be on the right. All right, I'm getting rid of ceremonial dagger. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Screw this whole thing. Because since this always has to be on the left, unless you have riffraff, something that can feed it consistently every single turn, this has to be on the right. So this molt is not going to get multiplied uh, by the card sharp and by the polychrome. So this is actually no good. All right. And we are now all we are now buying we Joker. Uh this is obviously gonna go here. And uh let's see if we can build some twos now. And I'll buy uh I'll buy the voucher next turn to get an extra hand. The extra hand in this build and the one of a kind build is really good. So we're select. All face cards are debuffed, we'll be okay. Uh so we still have this, a so three, four, uh, and king. Wait. Like this. Oh, we actually want to play a two, though. Oh, yeah, we have to play our twos. Okay. <laughs> so we're playing just two. And that's it. You can't play anything else. All right. We're building the Joker. That was amazing. This is also just adding chips every single time. Oh, so good. Okay. Now, for real this time. 
This will be high card. We'll be able to get to 9,000 here. We're able to get like 6,000 on our other hands. This will be times 8. Especially with the ace. This will even get bigger now. A lot bigger. And it's also times 8. Oh, more than enough. This is going great, guys. And of course, egg is cooking, so this will just give us value later. One per tarot card, definitely not. Uh, so we are going to grab this voucher because I really like the permanent one hand. That's awesome. It just lets us be extra greedy in terms of building our late game. All right, here we go. Face cards are debuffed. So we'll see if we get some aces here. And we're in. So, oh boy. <laughs> Um, yeah, we don't have... Okay, so I guess we'll do the... Two. We have an extra hand, so I think we can still afford to do this. Uh, I think we can actually use this to discard. This is really good that they're debuffed. Scores no chips and all billies are... I, I think this is going to be... Oh, it's really going to be pair? Like, is this going to mess up the high card? I actually don't know how this works. I'm pretty sure the king is going to try to be the high card, even though it's debuffed. So I think we actually have to do this first, and we'll ditch these kings as we play more. It will mess up the high card. Okay. All right, so here's the two. And that's awesome. We have to get to 12,000 here, so we got to move it, move it. Um, so we're going to... The king is going to screw up. Oh, my gosh. I didn't realize that we're actually stuck with these kings right now. I'm almost considering just, like, getting a discard. I, I think for just the integrity of this. Um, I, I really don't want to blow this this run right now. Well, unfortunately, we got another two. Well, I, we can do this, but <laughs> I can do the two again. It'll be two times five. I hope I, I'm not. I'm not. Oh man, I, I'm. I'm a little bit concerned right now. I don't think we can mess around. I really want to get to the twelve thousand, and we don't have the face card, so we're gonna be scoring some really low hands. I'm gonna not try to get too greedy on this two right now. So we're gonna go like this, and it's gonna be high card eight times five, and we'll go from there. I just got to start scoring some chips there. If we see that we're getting close to 12,000. I could sit here for a year and do all the math. All right, we're good. So ace. Ace doesn't count as the... I, I, we're going to test it right now. Ace does not count as the lowest. Oh, now we have ace. He can get rid of the king. This ace is not going to hit raised fist, right? Because it's the it's a one. I don't think that's how it works. But let's let's pay extra attention here. Raised Fist does the 16, yep. So it is not counting the aces, which is good. Okay, we got out. I probably could have been way more greedy there with the two, but it's okay. I'd rather, instead of sitting here and doing the math and <laughs> ruining the fun for you guys, cards, everything in the shop is 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 discounted. This isn't good. Nothing here helps us. We'll take the interest and maybe buy this next time. Uh, man, you're still cooking. Should I sell this already? No. Adds a voucher to the shop. You know, getting an extra voucher, we can actually get two now. So, one in seven cards gets drawn face down. I think that's okay. We can look at the position of the cards and make sure we don't get a pair. I think we're just playing. I don't think we're ever skipping here because we need to build our cards. So, we're going to go... Just get rid of some of the slow stuff. I need to get to 11. Here's the two. That's the greediest thing we can do is just play it. That's number four. And we have three more hands. <laughs> I 
that three was enough. Okay, I'm gonna start getting way, way more greedy and not being nervous about not making it, because we actually hit two extra hands there, so. Kind of a waste. You really want to just play as many as possible. Um, three dollars for every discarded nine. Definitely not. I think we're just gonna buy the voucher next time. Because we'll just gain interest on it. Yeah, and we're playing. And let's just do our thing about our funny funny. We're just building green. This is at 21 already. That's incredible. We're not even gonna need raised fist. I'm gonna get rid of raised fist at some point here. Too easy. The high card build. Let's go. This is at 34 chips. Gotta try to find some twos. High card build is happening. So this doubles money. That's an easy buy. Uh, we'll do this obviously first. Does this actually? No, it goes for 19. That's fine. Uh, and we'll buy the venture. Yeah. Means we can just buy whatever we want. And diamonds, tear it. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna have some cards drawn face down. What are the ramifications? I guess we're going in terms of suits. We'll play this two here. I just need 22. We'll be cool. There's our two. And we don't actually know if this is going to be a pair. We're at, uh, we're fine. We have three more hands. Totally okay here. Should I be looking for twos? I never thought that maybe I should be digging for, like, twos. These could all be fours, theoretically. I think I will. I think I will dig for the twos. In fact, I should have just played this one, because it could have been a two, right? No, I think it has to be at least a three. All right, we're good. I forgot to do bets, but it's okay. Earn one at the end of the round, gains two and a boss play is defeated. Here's Celestial Packs will be a high card. I think eventually this will be fine. We haven't really seen the Celestial Packs, but being able to buff the base value of high card, I think is going to be pretty good here. So we'll just buy a Telescope. Arcana, I'm not really feeling any of this. So let's just keep going here. I didn't look at what the boss blind is. I should have looked. Decrease level played poker hand. It's okay. I can't go <laughs> below one. <laughs> so here's a five. Oh yeah, I'm digging for the twos. I forgot. I'm digging for the in fact we're always gonna leave the bottom card because we don't want the malt to be so high from raised fist. I know it's really weird, but we're digging for twos. To be extra, extra freaking greedy. So three hands, here's our two, love it. <laughs> That's all we're doing. Digging for twos. What's up, Beijing? Oh wow, we got it. Oh. Two is too strong. Just too high card. <laughs> I, I wanted to play two more hands there. So here's 10-4. Here's Mercury. Neither of these are useful. Let's roll and see what we can get here. This we'll, we can cash this in at any point. Eight. If played hand triggers the boss blind ability, uh, so again, this is going to be no. I Meaning it has to be like you're not allowed to play this. Uh, none of these really help. Molt cards. Uh, we could turn some twos into more. I don't really care. All right, well, let's just go next. I don't discard at all because this will give us minus mult when we're discarding. So we're building green joker as well. I know it doesn't look very green, but... Alright, we don't need mega celestial. We need to buff our Wii joker, which is the top priority. 
and our green joker. Oh, this is going exceedingly well. So we're looking for a two. We are looking for a two. We are still looking for a two. I have no idea what this is going to be. I'm going to not sit and calculate each hand to make sure that I can get one extra hand so it doesn't go up to 30. Yet. Please be under. Oh, too bad. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Could not be going better so far. Run right anti six, and it's just been a cakewalk so far. Uh, each dollar you have. I mean, I mean, I mean, <laughs> we're going to be spending this eventually. I feel like there's going to be a Joker that's going to be better than this. This does give a ton of chips because we have so much money. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think we're going to do full. Doesn't make sense. There's going to be something better. Bruh. Wow, double bull. Diamond, heart. All right. And decrease the level. We're at our, our, by the way, we haven't buffed our high card at all here. Here's a two. We have to get to 40. I think we're going to be okay here. But even if we play these two. These are just getting so thick. I hope we'll be okay. We should be getting above like 15 now. Uh, let's start doing the funny. Just because... So this will be time sir. I don't know why I'm always nervous, but we always end up with hands to spare. Okay, we're fine. Well... Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely gonna be more than 4,000. I don't know why I'm <laughs> thinking about that at all. This egg has... we got some money here. The egg. Um, so Joker cards can appear multiple times. Uh, th does this, if you buy this in the middle, does it actually start buffed? Like getting multiple of these could be good. <laughs> I don't, I think this has to actually see the hands be played there, right? Planet cards in your consumable area give 1.5 times. So I guess we'll, we'll go for this. Uh, if we see a tarot card that can grab the, you know, when you open the celestial path, we're obviously gonna actually, you know, buff Pluto, um, which is our high card. So we're finally buffing that one level. Who cares? Uh, the way that we're gonna get them here is usually by getting a tarot card that creates the last planet that you've played. Uh, showman. I mean, he's interesting. Appear multiple times. It also means that in like a two pack of celestials. We'll be able to get... I don't know. <laughs> I don't think we really need it, another one. I mean, another card sharp would be nice, but... It's not really run-defining. I'm gonna... I'm gonna reroll this one. So here's pair. It doesn't help us, unfortunately. Like, two cards. Left one turns into the right one. We could actually buy this, because we can just turn something into a two and get an extra two. So... Initial or free, okay. I'm building my thing. So we want to turn this three into this two. Now we have two twos to play. Isn't that nice? Isn't that delightful? It's an extra two in our deck now permanently, so we'll be able to, again, this is already at 90. This is going to be up to hundreds, though, which is very good with a high card that naturally scores very low. Uh, I, it scores very well like we're so easily able to take out all these, even like BMing and trying to get extra hands in to build our, our jokers. Uh, we're still doing the three hands <laughs> like we can't even. We're scoring too much. Probabilities? Uh, uh, we're not really running anything. And here's Flush. Mega Buffoon. Standard. Uh, I think I'll just roll here. Clubs. One in four chance. <laughs> Should I go for it? <laughs> Why not? 
I've never hit that, by the way, ever, 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 never have I ever. This is, by the way, at 31. <laughs> We're just holding the egg for no reason. The moment we get another Joker that really works with our thing, we'll we'll sell the egg. But uh, per plate hands, so will give us 45. I don't care. Uh, it's way better to build our our cheese than to get um than to get money right now. It's three extra malt, and it's a lot of stuff. Uh, like this. Looking for a two. I just want one more two. I want a two. I want a two. Oh, this is definitely gonna score. Oh well. All right, so again, for those of you just joining us, the single low card is if we keep playing the same, a lot of hands, it's going to be buffing this Joker, which for hand played, uh, and two specifically uh, buff this Joker. So we're just building it up. Create a tarot card, a poker hand is an ace and a straight. That will never happen. We're looking for a Joker here. 40 chips for each remaining discard. Um, so we're always going to have, this is always going to be 120 chips. It's not bad. <laughs> we're always going to have four remaining discards, so maybe this is the time we switch this up. This is good. It's 120 chips. I mean, we really should be looking for something else, right? But I think it's time to sell the old egg. I don't really want to do this yet, though. In fact, we don't really need anything that's going to... No, let's let's wait. We're going to wait for a Joker that's even better. Played cards with odd ranks get 30. It's not amazing. We really don't want to gain more chips. Spade cards are debuffed. Who cares? We don't want to gain more chips yet. You know what I'm saying? It's like seven. I'm looking for the two. Because we just really want to play more hands so we can keep on, you know, building our, our current jokers. Like, this is that 44 mult. This is like ridiculous. It's also polychrome. Happens to be. You know? All right, so just keep it going here. We're still, I guess, looking for a two. It would be nice. I guess we can dump this queen as well. Uh, three more hands. Still looking for that two. <laughs> I guess I'll do this too. haven't even been utilizing the scholar which is a negative joker like eventually that's gonna help we still have two hands left that though. <laughs> i don't want to be so rich here's mercury uh we'll buy celestial because why not planet cards appear two times more frequently shot so this is actually very good because um we do have again the voucher that says if our card is in the shop means we can get it into our inventory it will give us another 1.5 malt so we're definitely going to start digging for those this doesn't help uh, so Pluto though and uh, we're really like looking for the for the cards that basically will buff like for per how many hands he's played that's kind of the joker we're looking for oh we're grabbing another one too uh, doesn't matter at all. Yeah, this game's on Steam. It's for PC. So we're going to redeem this. So that's awesome. So we'll hopefully be able to grab a Pluto uh, in the shop at some point here. 50,000. Definitely play. Digging for that. Two. Is it better to, like, dig harder? I think digging harder for twos is better here. Because the amount of chips that we're making, it doesn't really matter. Like, the amount between scoring 10 here and 4, it's just a 6-chip difference when you're making 98 right here anyway. So let's always try to 
In fact, if you discard all of these cards, then you don't even get the, the raised fist buff. So I guess we're doing it like this. Is this going to add two now because of the ace? Oh, it adds because of face card? I didn't even realize. This is adds double the rank of the lowest card held in hand, but I didn't think that that would work for Queen Jack. Wow, so if your lowest thing is a face card, it actually gives you more. It's such a good card, man. All right, so here is two more Celestials. We like that. Pluto. I have not tried Checker yet. Haven't unlocked it. I'm still a baby in this game. So I love that. Three for each discarded six. Definitely never happening. We're at 31, so we can run. 50 chips. Played face cards, get four malt when scored. It's nice. It's also 50 chips. I don't think it's actually worth it, though. It doesn't really help our our build. We're not really playing fam. I mean, eventually we'll play face cards. But it's only four molt, because you're only playing one card. Yeah, never mind. It's played. Eh, it's okay. <laughs> but it's foil. I don't care. This is at 98. That's awesome. I, I shouldn't even be looking at what those are. We have to play, play, play. Okay. So, I guess what we do is like this. This is still a higher card. We do want to keep on playing high cards, so this number of how many high cards we've played goes up eventually. There is a joker that gives you like 50 molt. Uh, here's our two. Here's our two. <laughs> yes! We have five twos in this deck. So good. And again, this is at 114, so this is basically hit par, but this is going to be going up a lot. Uh, as this run continues. We're already on anti-8. This has just been too easy. I mean, I I'm going to go endless with this. So here's Mult Per Planet card used. Um, okay. I'm not, I mean, how are we going to leverage getting more Planet cards? We do have, we could like, we could just be buying these one. I mean, since we already have the voucher that makes Planet cards appear more often... So maybe we just use them and have this be a multiplier? Like, it's point 0.1, so we can get this already to 2 with 10 more planet cards. And then if we play 20 more planet cards, it'll be even more. We have to cash out on this Joker at some point. I mean, I know which one I want already. I want the extra 50 mult. I think this is going to be a little too slow since we haven't... Uh, uh, you know what? We don't know what we're going to get that one. I'm Okay, I'm cashing out on my egg right now. Screw it. So it's going to be sell. We are buying this one. We're putting it here. We're going to buy and use every single planet card that we ever see. It doesn't matter if it's going to be helping us. It's just going to be buffing this joker here. Uh, this will make an extra two. So I think we buy that for $2. For each blind skipped this run, uh, we're not really skipping, so this is going to be 1.75. Um, this will end up being bigger pretty soon. We just need to play a few more planet cards. This is nice, though. Uh, so your discard's remaining. No, re-trigger. Nah. One of interest. Every five. Not really interested. Retrigger the next 10 cards you play. Gain 10 chips if we have a straight. Let's do this one more time. Eight of clubs. Two times straight. All right. Let's keep it going here. Flips and shuffles all Joker cards. Uh, so that's really just going to apply one time. You have to really pay attention to where things are. We obviously know that this is the one that adds the chips, so we'll just start by putting this on the left. Uh, we'll play the two. Let's just pay attention. The mults... Oh, I didn't actually pay attention. Whoops. Uh, we're going to... Yeah. We oh we need a hundred thousand though. We gotta get moving here. 
again. I should be slowing this down. There, I think we have it right now. Again, we want to see the multipliers at the end. All right, so we won. I mean, easiest win of my career, and it was with a high card build. We didn't even break a sweat. Uh, we're going to keep going endless, though. I mean, we have to, right? <laughs> Let's just keep going here and see how, how big we can get. See, now it's going to go, the blinds are going to go way up. But we have not only a very strong build already, but we have things that grow big time. And blind slugging three hands and lose all discards. Like, this is very, very good in this build. Long term, this just means we're going to have double the amount of hands. That's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm trying to think of raised fist if we ditch that for the... I mean, we do. We definitely do. We get rid of raised fist. We don't need the extra molt. Our molt is anyway at five. This will be adding, you know... 10 more. I don't think we need the extra molt, right? I mean, this is a very strong base molt card. And if we're buying all these celestial packs and stuff like this. What is our, uh... I think I'm getting rid of Ray's Fist. Lose all discards. We're selling you. We're buying this. So we'll just go here. Uh, we'll buy Saturn, because that's how that works. Yeah, Race Fist has been fine here. I mean, it. I don't know how necessary it's been. I hope I didn't just mess up this run by selling the, the, the Fist. Uh, we're going to open this, obviously. This will add some base molt. Because we're multiplying the molt a lot. Um, but we need, like, a base. You know, obviously our base is very low. It starts at 6. I hope I didn't just screw everything up with that. Oh yeah, I forgot. We're gaining malt. This is our main source of malt. It's 54. Okay. This is our main source of malt. Forget about it. We didn't need Raised Fist at all. I don't know why I thought Raised Fist was, was carrying this run. Boss Blind, Flush, forget about it. And we can go next. So this is good. We have extra hands now. A lot of extra hands. After defeating Boss Blind, forget about it. Get about it. So we have all these hands now. We're never discarding anyway. So let's do it like this. It's ridiculous. We didn't even get the three times multiplier there. Oh yeah, we don't have to worry about raised fist multiplying us anymore. I guess it never really mattered. I've been paying attention to like the low card this whole time. Um <laughs> it has never mattered. Well, we'll get it here. What is our boss blind this time? First hand is drawn face down, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. We got 172 in three hands, and this is 220. It's too easy. So, I don't know if Spectral Pack does anything for this run. Straight. It means probably we'll discard a Joker and get a Legendary. We can try it, though. You know what? Just for funsies. Reroll Boss Blinds. I think having the ability to reroll Boss Blinds is going to matter a lot um, in this run, because... I'll tell you why. If we get that you can't play like repeated hands or something like that, it'll probably end up being a problem because we have card sharp is probably our strongest joker still. So let's go for spectral. I'm gonna start buying the Arcana ones too because we really want to get our Pluto here. All right, so purple seal, which means discarded. Held means we're gonna get. A planet, so that's actually pretty good. Two copies of a card and re trigger this one time. So this will be fine. So we'll add a blue seal to 
doesn't really matter what, right? But theoretically, a way of getting more planets. But we're doing it again. And red seal for retrigger, I guess. Well, I guess we can create two copies of this and keep on getting planets. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so we have a planet, a kind of a planet engine now. Let's do the Arcana pack. Gold, hearts, wild, clubs, destroy. Um, yeah, there's nothing we really want to destroy. We can start destroying some of these non-two cards, I guess. But none of these suits matter. Gold card will sometimes give us three. I think destroying low cards? Doesn't matter, though. Yeah, let's do gold card. Nine... Yay, it's gold. Probably. And we're at 26, so we will go next. Polychrome? Good. So we get a two. And we... Oh! Planet! Yes! Oh, that came up fast. We're definitely going to be holding that. No, we have the ace. <laughs> I haven't even been concentrating on the, the aces. Maybe I should be getting more aces in my deck. Uh, and here's a two. Lovely. I don't put it away. And we still have five hands left. So we're actually making all this money just from the amount of hands remaining. Which is awesome. And here's Jupiter. So we're using that. Uh, oh, here's Riff Raff. <laughs> I could have used that during Anti-1. Uh, because we had that knife. Any booster pack is skipped. Ah, we're good. So we're going to use this. Actually, we want to do Arcana pack first, right? What was the last... Uh... Clubs. Bonus cards. Great substitute planets. Oh, that's actually really good for us. So we're going to use Jupiter. And, oh, this is, this is going well. And who knows, maybe we'll even get a, a Pluto. Okay, so we use. Yoink, we're at 1.5. Use. It's a long-term investment, but hopefully it'll fail. And we're at 37, so we are going to roll. Four of a kind, 15 mold. Might as well. Uh, we can buy this, though. It'll cost us $1 on our... Thing that buying news. Hell yeah, one point set. Pretty good. First hand is drawn face down. Okay. I will try to play the two. <laughs> Should we grab like one other card just to keep on getting twos here? Here, let's let's do like. Well, no, we have to play the two. Let's see if it's a two. Oh, <gasps> got it. We got the two guys. Uh, another two. What is this Joker at? 170. Wow, this is scaling, man. This one's also long term. This is at 62. This is at 170. Jeez. Uh, maybe there's another two here? Nope. Oh, uh, yeah. We're good. Oh, we also have the, one of the seals. Oh, that's so good. We have the purple seal. We didn't even know it. Uh, play spades, give 50 chips, and celestial, what is this? Rerolls cost two less. I guess this will be good eventually, right? Let's do celestial. Grab. Buff that. Uh, spectral. I don't know. For fun. Destroy one rate. To be perfectly honest, I don't have all the spectral cards just on the top of my head, so I'm just seeing what they do. <laughs> Destroy one random. I'm still kind of new to this game. Destroy one random card in your hand and add four enhanced number cards to your hand. Huh? Huh? 
Create a copy of a random joker, destroy all your jokers. No, I like my build very much. Uh, create a copy. Is there any of these that are that overpowered that it's worth copying it? No, no, no. Everything works together very well. We have chips, we have molt, and then we have multiplying this. No way. Um, add negative to a random joker, minus one hand size. Whoo, sheesh. I think I like this. We don't need hand size. Oh, this is so good. This is perfect. It's not going to add negative because we can get a whole extra joker now. That's incredible. Perfect. We don't, it wasn't going to add negative to the already negative joker. All right, so that worked out great. We're going to buy voucher. Because that will save us money. It's cost seven, and now we're saving a lot of money. Um, let's reroll see what we get. You're Saturn. So we're going to buy... We're going to use you. Oh my gosh. We can get an extra joker now. If hands... This is 20 molt, actually. Huh? <laughs> we're going to buy and use you. Again, we're using all these useless planets that aren't our high card just to buff constellation. This isn't bad for the short term, but we don't really need anything for the short term. Uh, so we're going up to 840 and then 1.1 million. Ooh, is 560 a lot? Well, we have eight hands. Never mind. 560 is nothing. Nothing. And we're actually going to start discarding to get these nines and also get some more planets, you know? So, five, six, seven, eight, ten, jack, like this. And we're looking for twos and nines. How much did that give us? Nice. Oh, we got another nine. This looks good. Still looking for twos and nines. Nine of clubs. Gotta be clubs. Like that. <laughs> we still have room for another Joker? I'm all about it. Here's Uranus and <laughs> we got two more. It's <laughs> so good. Man, Constellation is actually working out here. Let's go. Okay. Oh, well. So, use. Use. Is this run taking a long time? Oh, we're an hour in. That's not so bad. They're gonna buy and use. This is the first card of a hand triggers again. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Celestial. We have the telescope, so it's always giving us time. And reroll is cheap. All cards are considered face cards? No, but we'll buy this. Is so that 2.5? This is going to be our strongest one. This is actually going to be our best card. And we still have room for another Joker. Anyway, so we got to 560 very easily. So here's 840. What was our boss blind again? Start with zero discards. Oh no! Oh no! So two. Uh, 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 uh. Looking for those nines. I kind of like the nines better than the twos now. Yoink. Looking for the nines. This is at 70 and you're at one. We went to two. Love to see it. Two you can't play other cards with because it has to score. And still no nines. Such a shame. Well, yeah. Kind of guaranteed. Why did we have no discards? Oh, yeah, yeah, because this gets rid of them. I don't actually know how Burglar is going to interact with the boss blind right now. Because the boss blind says, oh, still no, <laughs> still have not gotten a Pluto here. Boss blind says it's going to start with zero discards. This gain three hands and lose all discards. I think we still gain the three hands, pretty sure. So it's going to be Uranus. Uranus. 
I like mispronouncing that on purpose. That's fun. And then it doesn't sound like Uranus. Uh, Celestial. Grab Pluto. Still have not found an actual Pluto card. Or the Arcana card that will give us our last played planet. Uh, I think we're good here. Da -da 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 -da. Oh no, I have no discards. Yeah, I still get my eight hands. So we're going to literally BM this one million dollar uh, boss blind to keep building. We're just going to play some twos. That is what's up. We have six more hands. We're going to be just fine. Five, ten, like this. Looking for nines and twos. Yep. We're <laughs> at 770 already. Oh, I got another nine. Uh, this will probably put us over. And we'll get two planet cards. Maybe one of them will be Pluto. Finally. Uh, uh, yeah. God damn it, where's Pluto? <laughs> it's all good. We'll get it eventually. We're getting like 10 planets per, <laughs> per round right now. Ah, uh, good old Raised Fist. Do you help me? You care? I have like an emotional connection to, um, to Raised Fist now because it carried us through the beginning part of this run. Giving us malt while our green joker was uh, getting its act together. Right now, green joker is all grown up. Is that like 76? Is that too done? <laughs> so, Celestial. I, I have a feeling, guys. I have the feeling that this Arcana pack is going to give us the Pluto. We need the Arcana card that copies the last planet that was played. It puts it into your hand. Creates a random joker. Enhanced bonus cards. I think enhancing... Um, Things to bonus cards is probably going to be better. I mean, we can create a random Joker. <laughs> YOLO it. <laughs> we have room. Um, I think bonus cards in the long run, it's going to be better than random Joker. So let's start doing some... Let's just start buffing some high cards and turn them into bonus. I mean, it's only four malts. All right, we'll do random Joker. It's more fun. Go random Joker. Every played card counts in scoring. <laughs> So if we have a, it's actually pretty good for uh, it adds some chips to to high cards. So that's nice. Raise the cap on interest earned per round to ten. Uh, I think we'd rather spend it. So we'll roll. Let's just keep rolling for actual. Oh, we got it, guys. We're not using that one. Pluto is staying in our hand now. High card now gets a one point five buff. Hell yeah. And 50 chips. Uh, this we can use. Oops, this one buy it. Yeah, we're going to be getting rid of this very soon. Every played card counts in scoring. Because it's only going to add a maximum of 40 chips per hand. You know? I don't think that's worth it. In fact, this adds 50 chips. Should I just grab this one? <laughs> I'm good. <okay. laughs> uh, I'm actually going to sell this right now for one. Because I want to get the extra interest. <laughs> I'm being a cheap Jew. All right, so we're up to 7.2 million. I don't actually... What was the last... How much did we make last time? Do I have, like, my stats here in terms of what was my highest amount of money I've made? I forgot that it really scales very... This is going to scale very quickly. We have eight hands, though. I think we'll be okay. So let's play the two. We also have an extra 1.5. Let's see what this gives us here. Well, it's really going to be the second one for the card check. This is a 3.2 month. Oh, are we in trouble? Are we in a doo-doo right now? I'm going to start pretending that I'm actually in trouble right now. We have six more hands. Okay, so with the three times multiplier and a nice hard card played, we made ooh, close to a million. It's not a lot. It's not a lot at all. We actually might be dead here. In fact, I should have kept that one that's going to be scoring us extra. Are we dead? I'm looking for aces now, I guess. I'm even sacrificing it too. I don't think we're going to make this now. No, I think we lose. So much for getting Pluto. No, we're not even close. I mean, here's Ace.
pretty sure I lose. <laughs> I don't think these aces are going to help anything. Our best hand is, is clearly 95 times 10. Wait. Hold on. Hold your horses, Fry. Well, we have no discards. But maybe... I, I didn't realize since we're playing all these planets that we have these really big buffed, like, flushes amazing right now. So is four of a kind. I, I didn't even think that maybe we should pivot out of the... Out of the one... There's nothing here that says we have to play one of a kind except for card sharp, which is a three times multiplier. Like, this is 95 times 10. This is... um. 110 times 14. We're not going to really be able to consistently play flushes or four of a kinds, though. The only thing we'll really be able to consistently play multiple of, yeah, it's basically high card. But maybe we have to go for it, because we're clearly not making enough money here. Not even close. This definitely was a solid run. I'm very, very happy with this. I mean, we got to anti-11. Um... I think it's time to to YOLO, and I should. I kind of wish I had my my extra hands still, because uh, we were not making enough. So the be biggest one is flush. Do we have flush possibilities here? We actually have less hand size. I forgot about um. Something gave us less hand size. Oh, it was the spectral card we grabbed. So getting flushes is going to be very, very, very hard. Um. Maybe there's a way to preserve it. Honestly, if the run ends right now, I'm very happy with it. <laughs> this is really, really fun. This is just copium at this point. Like, flushes are not three times as good as high card. They are not. They're just not three times as good. And unless we were to get five flushes in a row, which we don't even have our first one yet, the chances of that happening are so insanely low. But theoretically, it probably our only way to stay alive is to try to get flush after flush after flush here. So, okay, we're going to utilize the high card in order to get a, a, a mulligan here. We're, right now, our best chance, we have three spades and three clubs. We're going to try this, guys. Uh, clubs are definitely the way to go. So we're going to ditch our spades right now. Oh, this is rough. And I guess we'll... I think we're going to need a heart, too. So we'll get rid of our... Uh, we can't get rid of the diamonds. That's fine. Well, no, we have to, we have to get, <laughs> we have to get rid of as many cards as possible. So I'm going for an ace high flush. We're going to see if we can get a couple clubs here without the multiple. I mean, we'd have to get, again, flush after flush after flush. And if we didn't even get it yet, <laughs> no, there's no chance anymore. All right, guys, it's been really nice knowing you. This is only adding eight. We don't have the flush yet, right? I mean, I might as well keep going for it. Three flushes in a row, would I do it? Yeah, we're so done. I really didn't realize I needed another giant hammer. <laughs> We're not even close. There's no flush. And we only have three hands left. It's impossible. Too bad. All right. It was nice while it lasted. It's like we're getting these ace highs here. But, you know, adding an extra 20 chips and four mole. It's just not enough to, to bring it up. All right, it's actually very sad that we have to say goodbye. We can get a flush now. It's very sad to have to say goodbye to this run because I enjoyed it immensely. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see me play more Bellatro, guys, subscribe, okay? This is amazing. I'm going to be going for this level of insanity uh, for basically every YouTube video that I post here. Uh, so if you guys want to see more of this craziness, uh, make sure to subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. Peace. This is Fry.